Apple is reportedly working to simplify Siri's trigger phase. I just said Siri. Yeah, what are they going to do? Get rid of the hey part. Hmm. I like that next track. You didn't have to turn it off. Huh? I'm kind of into that. Okay. Get rid of the hey part. <laughs> Siri is the worst part of, of uh, iPhone life. And, and the watch. Like, I just leave me alone already, please. Siri. Siri, you are so terrible. You are so aggravating. And just barely better than useless. Wow. I know it sounds harsh because I'm talking, it's like I'm putting a name on it, but really it's just their, whatever their voice tech happens to be. I don't know what's going on. Especially since our next story is going to talk about how much money Apple is worth. And yet they can't get it right. How, how does Google have this so well protected? Like, who, who are these people that know? Nobody knows, apparently. I guess this uh, technology is so under wraps that it everything that's good about Assistant, for whatever reason, has been kept from leaking into Apple's version of Voice Assistant. Mm. Because the thing doesn't work for me. I'm going to be just dead honest with you. And I try because I'm a big voice guy. Like, I like the voice interaction. Sure. I love to experiment with yeah. it. I use it. You know this about me, Will. Yeah. And... Assistant is in my life as well. So... Easy, Will. Yeah. That's me adjusting the oh, strap God. on my Apple Watch, which, if it had Google Assistant, might be an incredible device. It's still pretty good, even without it. To be honest, I just turn the Siri stuff off for the most part. Um, or at least a lot of the triggers for it. Maybe, though, this new uh, adjustment, maybe this simplification of the way you trigger it, maybe this is part no, of... No, it a won't. <laughs> hey, man, I was trying to be optimistic here. I was saying it will be a renewed focus where they're going to nail this thing and it's going to get competitive with Assistant. Maybe this is the first step. In doing so, I mean, maybe it'll take time. Probably it'll take time. It turns out this stuff is complicated. Mm. Mark Gurman is the one who reported this. The company's reportedly spent the past few months training the digital assistant to respond to just Siri instead of the Hey version of it, which, Hey Siri. Let's see, I wasn't going to do it, and then I did it. Well, I wasn't going to do it, and I did it. On the surface, it's a simple change, but one that Gurman says involves a significant amount of AI training and underlying engineering. Like, obviously, now we're going to trigger it even more. It's already triggering mm -hmm. accidentally somehow. I mean, I'm sure there's all kinds of other things that sound like Siri, like Sirius. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what else. Um. Probably some different names that are close to it. Yeah. Like Miri. Mi Sarah? Miriam. Is that a name? Miriam? Yeah. Yeah, so you, you, maybe the short form is like Miri. Did you say Sarah? I don't yeah. know if that's close enough. Maybe. I don't know how good this... Yeah. Well, so why can't... See, that's the thing about assistance. Why can't they... You can name it whatever you want. Why does it have to be Siri? Or Google? You want to name it whatever you want. Well, what's your perfect name then, sir? Uh, yeah. Jeeves. G ask Jeeves. Yeah. Yeah, whatever happened to Jeeves, the old pal Jeeves. Yeah. I don't mind that. That's who you're looking for. You rekindle with old Jeeves there. The change would make it easier to string together multiple commands uh, one after another. Critically, it would help Apple catch up with Amazon and Google, which offer digital assistance with more robust capabilities. Well, we already know that. On Google, you can do back-to-back -back commands, mm -hmm. which they and they continue to enhance this thing. They want it to be natural language. Like they're working on, in some cases, no trigger phrase at all. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's the level to which they're ahead on it. I just, you know what? I, I like options and I like to see success in technology and like co cool things develop. And I certainly like a more integrated or organic experience with tech because every time you open your phone and stare at it, it's drawing you into this vortex of pain <laughs> and suffering. And of course, I'm talking about the all the different clicks you're about to make as you, this onslaught is uh, attacking your short-term uh. uh, memory and your attention and whatever else. And so, like, one of the ways in which to change your relationship with these devices is by them staying in the pocket and interacting. And obviously there's arguments against you. are like, well, they're listening all the time. They're listening to you. 
Imagine what might happen. They're listening to mm. you. And I'm like, look, I hear you, man, but I'm going day to day over here. And this stuff is helpful to keep sometimes tech a little bit more in the background, which is something I want in some circumstances. Yeah. And so hopefully they can offer something similar uh, on the iOS side to what we've been experiencing on the Google side of things. Mm.